all over Central Florida and over the Southeast to come learn how to climb up Sugarloaf Mountain. In the workshops I do with different ladies around town, we, I teach them how to divide the mountain, Sugarloaf Mountain, into three sections. So you can divide it into thirds, so you take the first driveway on the right, then the second driveway on the left, and then you go to the top third. If you have a psychological advantage of doing it in thirds, it's much easier to tackle the mountain than just by climbing it all the way straight up. Most people will sit and spin their way up. Spinning is when you have a high cadence and a low gear. Standing takes a, high, a little bit bigger gear and it takes a lot more effort. So very few people stand all the way up and climb the whole mountain. Um, but the best way is just to get a gear that's comfortable, that you can just sit down and spin and just keep your legs going the whole time. Interval training is extremely important for getting your heart into shape for a mountain like this. And what you can do then is just practice going hard and fast, say all out for 30 seconds, then back off and spin the lactic acid back out of your legs, get your heart rate back down, and then do another 30 seconds of hard spinning. The biggest mistake I see people make is that they are going to attack the mountain and they'll just go all out at the very bottom and they get halfway up and then they, they're just dying. The uh, best thing to do is, is just to keep a steady pace all the way up.